Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and today I'm adding these mitered cornered borders to my most recent quilt. First I cut the strips that I wanted. I'm cutting two inch strips of the gold, red, and five inch strips of the green. They aren't quite long enough. The width of the fabric isn't quite long enough for the side of my quilt, so I do need to join some of these strips to make them longer. And each of my strip sets will be, let's see, eight inches longer than my quilt on both sides, at least eight inches longer. I'm going to need sort of tails on each end of the quilt when I attach these strip sets. First, I'm gonna make them longer. I'll join them together and then I'll be adding them to the quilt. And here's my quilt. My border here measures eight inches wide, so I need to add at least eight inches to each end, like I said. So I added nine inches, which gave me just a little bit of wiggle room. I marked that nine inch spot on this strip set, and then I laid that mark onto the end of my quilt, and then I will be attaching it. I need to begin sewing a quarter inch away from the edge and stopping a quarter inch away from the edge on both ends because I need to attach another piece right there at the point. Now I'm going to attach the other side, one other side border to my quilt. And again, I need that nine inch excess. And so it will be overlapping the first one and I'm going to pin it on right sides together. And again, I'm going to start a quarter inch away from the corner. This is sort of like a Y seam, the way that I am putting these together. And you'll see in a minute that when I have this one attached, I will be figuring out that mitered corner on my border.
I added a little pencil mark for that quarter inch so I have a place to start or stop here on the corner. I didn't do that on the other ones, but that is helpful to do. But I have the first two borders on. I am going to press some angled seams. I'm going to give myself sort of a guide for sewing these together. So I laid it on my ironing board here and I will be folding this long piece, both long pieces at an angle. And then I will be using that pressed seam as my guide when I sew them together. I need to make sure my seams are out of the way when I do this um, angled seam for the mitered edge. And that's all there is to it. I do this four times and I will have a beautiful border going around this quilt that I made in the last video. I'll leave the information down in the description box. It's always nice to sew with you. Thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.